Hey, good day viewers, how are you all going? Latest project I'm working on. I've got an old uh, bulkhead light fixture. It was originally a high pressure sodium lamp in this one, but it was all burnt out. And so I thought I'll convert it to a 18 watt low pressure sodium. So that's what I've got so far. Made up of support for the LPS tube and the connecting socket. Only problem I had was I'm trying to uh, use a fluorescent light ballast because I don't have an original 18 watt LPS ballast or igniter for this thing. So I've got two. 100 volt ballast which I've wired in series to work on the 240 volts I've got here and uh, all well and good I mean you can turn the thing on but the tube won't ignite because you need a high voltage pulse to get the tube going you can sort of get it to strike with a bit of static electricity but it won't stay on so I decided decided to come up with a starter mechanism. So what I've got here, just as an experiment, I've just got a fluoro light starter uh, with a small lamp. So wire that across, and hopefully that'll give enough of an inductive pulse to strike the the LPS sodium lamp. So I'll just wire this up and we'll see how we go. Okay, so I've wired up my improvised starter in parallel with the LPS lamp. And I'll turn it on and we'll just see if this is going to work. So it's trying to strike, and once the arc is established, oh here we go, it's, there we go. Now there's more current flow going through the LPS, and the voltage is reduced, and the starter is not trying to, it's not tr trying to strike now. So I'll prove this design, but I think it's going to work well as a uh, LPS lamp starter. Yeah, we, can, we can enjoy the lovely uh, startup colours of the sodium lamp. Yeah, it's sad now that the low pressure sodium lamps are no longer manufactured. So they are getting rather hard to come by. Yeah, I just love the colour transition. As for sodium plasma is overtaking the neon plasma in the tube. So you can see the cooler end down here. The neon gas is still ionising, but up this end the sodium is taking over. I've finished installing the starter unit in this lamp. And I've used the top of argon starter. These ones are like a, a screwing type. Well, we'll uh, fire it up and see how it goes. So anyway, the starter goes through this lamp here, which acts as a load. Okay, let's fire it up.
Once the cathodes get warm enough, it should be enough to maintain an arc. Right, oh, time to try it with a cover on. Right, I then do another start up with this lamp. Yeah, the improvised starter seems to work rather well. of old kerosene lamps I've got here. Yeah, here's another lamp I've converted to a low pressure sodium. It's an older uh, fluorescent street light and uh, when I got it it'd been full of water and things and so the ballasts were ruined so I thought I'll relamp it. So I installed a 35 watt 
electronic ballast for the sodium lamp and 35 watt tube. Thanks for watching folks, stay safe and we'll catch you next time.